sadly, um, <laughs> my notes are here. So um, I heard that the lightning talks were supposed to be pretty high energy, but I kind of had a little too much um, whiskey at the Twitch thing last night, so I'm kind of hungover. Um, and I got a, I have an app that's supposed to like, you know, that I use sometimes to help me get kind of turned up. But yeah, now my fingers won't unlock it. But if I was just hoping I could get maybe a couple of those like club air horns, that'd be, if we could just maybe two of those, so I can, no? All right, fine. Uh, so um, I, I work for Cisco in Maryland. I'm in the Talos group, which is our security research group, um, formerly the Sourcefire VOT. And just a little caveat, get that out of the way. This is not a work-related project, so, okay. It's not work really. Uh, so several months back, um, this really interesting um, <clears throat> project came out called USB Kill. And it's an, intended to be an anti-forensics tool in case your uh, machine is physically compromised or taken from you, a laptop. And what it does is uh, if a device is inserted or removed, it shuts your machine down as quickly as possible. You know, customize shutdown commands as well, that kind of thing. And uh, it got, a lot of press, you know, and a lot of really cool clip art. You turn your USB into a kill switch, you know. Um, Anti-Fed script. And, and this, is, this one's my personal favorite. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, it's just delightful. So, um, but the problem was with it is that, uh, let's see, it, um, it required uh, an extra library to work on OS X because it was using LSUSB. Um, and it was written in uh, Python, which of course is not, that's not bad in and of itself, but you would think it would be a little more cross-platform, like for instance, supporting Windows. And so you can see the dialogue gets kind of civil, and then, <laughs> then the owner comes in, and that's, that's it. So uh, issue closed. So I try to be constructive. Um, I mentioned that I found a way. And I even sent some emails and offered to collaborate, but I never really heard anything back, so I made my own. And uh, about six hours, I knocked it out, got feature parity and Windows support. And uh, so let me see if I can just pull up my notes because I forgot what I was going to say next. <laughs> All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah. And you might want to write down this GitHub address because if my demo succeeds, this thing's going to shut down. <laughs> I won't be able to help you out anymore. So uh, it's, it's, it's easy to remember, though. It's GitHub slash Alaska and Deadman, but you can find it from just a regular one. Uh, it's pretty simple. You run it. And let me just show you some of the code here. So um, it's, it's polling-based, although there is a, and I'll talk about this later, there's a branch for uh, doing event-based stuff. Um, <clears throat> and it, on, in, Enumerates USB devices if it detects any changes. There's you know future support for whitelisting, whatever. Uh, it's still under development, but um, as you can see, this is how it works. And there was <laughs> my initial attempts on Windows uh, were kind of ugly, as you can see here. Like I had to. Uh, this is like a PowerShell script that I then had to like uh, compress so that I could pass it as an argument, and it attempted to uh, it attempts to spin up. Um, uh, a listener to listen for USB changes and stuff like that. Um, and that was my attempt to make uh, Windows uh, um, enumeration more event-based. Um, but I eventually discovered that the, uh, the listener actually just pulls in the background anyway, so might as well just pull. Um, uh, this is the new version, which uses a really cool library that I found um, called w that uh, allows me to do WMI queries. Um, and I can actually just ask the operating system periodically if, uh, if the device was I, did I get my alert? I saw you lift your hand. OK. Um, so yeah. And the config files look kind of like this. It's in TOML. Uh, whether or not you want to shut down your polling interview, your shutdown um, timeout, and commands. And the commands can either be run in parallel or parallel blocks that will then block waiting for uh, the next non-parallel command to run. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and anticipate any of your questions involving the source, because again, if this works, uh, it will turn off. And um, so yeah, the future. Um, 
to my issues. You can see I want to do event-based monitoring, fallback, um, forcing shutdown on Windows is, um, I just want to make sure that that's a little bit more ironclad as it can be. Uh, oh, there's an issue with the uh, runtime where it doesn't detect this particular Windows signal that is sent when an app is in a um, command window and closed. So if you just close the window, there's a special signal that's sent. And I want to detect that and treat that as a hostile, um, hostile event and just shut down immediately. Uh, so that hopefully that'll be in the future version of the runtime. Um, and I have, uh, at least on Linux, I have event-based listening working in a branch. Um, this opens a, that's a Netlink socket and it's, it's doing, it's listening for USB events that way um, and parsing them. And that, that'll allow us to do more quickly detect it and also uh, maybe have a more standardized way to get device names and stuff for whitelisting um, because you don't want every <laughs> device to shut it down. So uh, I guess with that, it's, it's time for my demo. I would just say that I'm soliciting help and uh, anybody who wants to help me make this thing better, especially people with experience working in Windows, uh, would, it'd be great. Um, I'd like to add a lot of stuff, like I want to encrypt the config file, for instance. Uh, I want to have a password prompt so that it'll shut down, that kind of thing, to make it you know, as robust as we can. And if, if it ends up not working, then we'll find that out too, but uh, I could definitely use some help. Uh, so <laughs> let's do the demo. Um, so I've got it connected to sounds, because hopefully you should hear it. Can you? Is there any way that we can get sound working? Okay, um, anyway. Um, all right. <laughs> this command, command should shutdown. take forever command. to finish, and it should time out. So this out should time out. Oh. That's it. I, is, is that the demo working? Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Andy. That's